Today we will have a special coverage where we get to meet unsung heroes, amazing kids, Basher Orchestra team who came all the way from South Korea to share their wonderful talent and most of all, an opportunity to meet Chang Ho Nam, also known as Miracle Charlie, about his valuable contribution to people from all walks of life. Prepare to be inspired and believe that miracles happen when we believe in God. Watch this. We're very lucky today to have Miss Janina Lorelai, a mezzo-soprano, who will be one of the performers for this benefit concert. Miss Janina, could you tell us more about your participation? Hi. First of all, thank you for having me here. It is, it is an honor. I am deeply gra- grateful to be here today because I'm actually a cancer survivor. And I know what it's like to to be faced with a very, very difficult diagnosis and to be told that you have only a few months left to live. And, and you know, to be in that position where your only chance at life is a very costly treatment that's going to be very difficult. Um, and, you know, to, to not be able to, to afford that. So... You know, anything I can do to give back and, and to help those who, who need that treatment, I will always do it. So it's, it's an honor. It's, it's my way of giving back. And I am deeply, profoundly grateful to be here today, not just alive, but giving back. Would you like to thank, thank somebody uh, today? A lot of- Goodness, um, of course. I mean, first of all, to adopt the Changonam, who, who is, is the... The one who who organized this event. I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional. Yeah, of course, I'm emotional too. I'm I'm actually one of his patients too. So this is why I'm I'm for me it's it's such a special event today because yeah um, I was one of his patients a year ago right after I finished my chemo treatment and his invention helped me recover really 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 quickly from from chemo. Um, and yeah, it's one of the reasons why I'm still standing and still singing. You're and- <laughs> very beautiful with your Thank beautiful you. hair. Oh my God. Thank you. I envy you. Thank you very much, Janina. See you on stage with Thank your you. wonderful voice. Looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Janina Lorelai. Christian Biando, or we call him Chan. He's also one of the performers for the Benefit concert today. But kanan dito, anong gagawin? And my participation in this event is I will be performing songs for God, and I hope that everyone will be blessed and uh, enjoy this amazing event, of course, with amazing performers. And I would like to get this opportunity to thank, to extend my gratitude to the organizers of this event, the KCBMC South Manila Chapter and United KCBMC Philippines. Thank you so much. Mabuhay po tayong lahat. We're also very lucky to have with us today during this benefit concert here in Las Piñas, of course, the handsome retired General Eduardo Ermita. Sir, magandang hapon po sa inyo. Oh, magandang hapon naman. Yeah, would like to know, yeah, and would like to know uh, your participation po dahil nakita ko na namin kayo kanina, nakaupo kayo at uh, talagang pumapalakpak para sa ating mga performers. Would like to know po um, yung suporta po na binibigay nyo para sa community na to, sa Filipinos and of course, para sa ating mga Korean friends. Well, uh, since this is my first time here, since I just met uh, Mr. Nam last week, uh, all I can say is I'm very uh, encouraged that uh, I had been invited. I can see the purpose of this gathering, and I'm very glad that there is an effort on the part of a group such as this group of uh, Mr. Nam to be closer to the Filipinos. You know, the need for understanding among people is worldwide. And this is one venue where we see the understanding among us Asians, the Koreans, South Koreans, and the Filipinos. And I hope that uh, in the future we'll be able to participate more in whatever manner as it is now. I can only say a word of encouragement that uh, there'll be more contacts between through the South Korean group out of this uh, group now and some Filipinos who are also in this kind of undertaking. Thank you. 
Thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much. And we hope to see you more on this kind of benefit shows. Kumakanta po ba kayo? <laughs> Tatanong ko kasi anong favorite song niyo eh. No, kanina I was talking with that Janine. Mm, yes. And she asked me the same thing. I told I told her the two songs I knew. But this was vintage 1950. Anong title yan? I'm sure alam po yan. Sigurado ka? Sige, sige. Uh, Challenge to. Um, uh, Frank Sinatra ito. Oh, if, Frank Sinatra. If you are but a dream. Can you sing one line? <laughs> if you are but a dream, I know I'll never wake in. Ang galing naman. Sana sir, next time may sarili kayong concert at sigurado maraming manonood. Thank you very much once again po. Thank you very much. God bless you. Wow, it's so amazing. We have a lot of friends who came all the way from different places just to support this benefit concert, of course, of Doc Chang Ho Nam. And we have here the famous Secretary Oscar Urbos. My God, starstruck ako, sir. What can you say? What's your message po to Doc Chang Ho Nam? And of course, to our friends from South Korea. Pumunta pa dito para lang mag-perform para sa ating mga wow. uh, Filipino community. The, precisely. Uh, alam ho ninyo, I... Uh... I came because of Mr. Nam. Mr. Nam uh, is someone uh, who's uh, a recent uh, acquaintance, but I saw how sincere he is in helping others. No, so ang, ang mundo po ay may pag-asa kung may mga tumutulong. Period. And I think we should concentrate on that. That's why ako uh, nagpunta ho ako dito para ngalan ho sila. Yes, it's not for anything else but to give honor and to thank people who help others. Uh, if we are in this kind of mode of work, then this country and this world has hope. Maraming salamat, sir. Mabuhay po kayo. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you po. Now, let's get to know more about Miracle Charlie, his invention, his advocacy, and of course, his help to the Filipino community. Tara! How did you end up living here in the Philippines? Uh, in the year 2003, I started a life in the Philippines uh, as uh, some uh, vehicle, car, uh, car trader. I imported some Korean cars and then distribute to the Philippine society. That is my start in the Philippines. I see. So you went here 21 years ago to sell 30 cars. So could you tell us more about those 30 cars? Were you able to sell them, everything, in just, you know, one day or one week? How long did it take you? Uh, yes, in the beginning, uh, I have uh, some uh, car sales experience in other other parts of the world, uh, like uh, uh like Latin America countries and then the, some African countries. So when I come here, I plan to uh, set out about 30 cars uh, in a month's time. But it takes very long. <laughs> so that is uh, the starting that I I uh, consider to stay in this country for a long time. And then I have my children. So I think the Philippines is very good uh, to give the good English education to my children. So... That's a starting that I settled down in this country. I see. So you mean to say you brought your family here in the Philippines yeah. uh, and then from then on you stayed and then you didn't go back to South Korea? Is that it? Yes. Uh, my son, uh, he came here for... Uh, he, he stayed here almost 21 years with me right now. And then uh, my, my daughter too. And then my wife uh, stays here for 18 years. And then because of the pandemic... She went back to Korea after that she got the job there. And stay, uh, but still, uh, Philippines is my second country, second home country. So I like Philippines, and then that's why I stay here for long. And then I'm thinking that I will do something for the Filipino citizens here. That's amazing. I think uh, the reason why you like the Philippines is because of the warm weather. Is that correct? <laughs> yes, I think so. Uh, I don't like uh, very cold weather, but uh, tropical weather is very fit to me, and I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I see. Well, uh, Miracle Charlie, we want to know about your um, hydrogen inhalation system because I am also a user of it, and this is the reason why I'm getting younger and younger, and so is you. Yeah. So, you know, God has called you to spread His miracle. Yeah. When did you invent this um, hydrogen inhalation machine? And I heard that you were able to help 
help a lot, especially poor, sick Filipino people. Tell us more about it. Uh, yes, sir. it was starting uh, year 2020 when pandemic hit us. At that time, I need uh, some uh, necessity to find uh, some machine to save the people from the pandemic death. So uh, that is the, my motivation to make an uh, invention for hydrogen inhalation system. After that, I use this one for different kinds of disease, and I found that it is very, very effective uh, to give the, some improvement of our human disease. So I go deeper and deeper day by day, and then month by month, and year by year. So that is, uh, I think, I believe, that is my mission given by the Lord God. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah, thank you also to the Filipino Inventor Society because they actually adopted you yeah. for uh, more than almost or almost 20 years already, yeah. right? Well, um, you have come so far, Miracle Charlie, and uh, not just helping the sick people, you also do medical mission, do feeding program. And I believe later on today after the show, you're also going to distribute some rice, I guess, to the sick people. Um and um, aside from that, you also brought this orchestra all the way from Korea just to perform for us, the Filipino people. Can you tell us more about this concert for a cause that we're having today? Uh, yes, actually, to the, today's uh, uh, orchestra team uh, made a trip to the Philippines uh, to give the, uh, some uh, service for the people of the Philippines uh, using by uh, musical talents. They use their by own money to book the ticket, and then uh, twelve people and then a lot of uh, musical instrument. It took about eighteen seats of the uh, flight, wow. and then they spend uh, their own money, and then they are spending everything by themselves. So I would not want to miss this kind of a big opportunity to expose them uh, to the Philippine society, and then. Through this, uh, uh, through this opportunity, I want to make uh, some chance to make a cultural exchange. And then uh, this will establish some peace and the harmony between Filipinos and Koreans. And then at the same time, we can show the love of God to the society, especially in this community of uh, Barangay Lagoon, uh, this uh, Paranaque. There are about 2,500 uh, Unprivileged people are here. So this small church has uh, committed their contribution to this uh, society for eight years right now. Very small church. They are helping almost 1,000, 1,500, sometimes 2,000 people in the area. So we are amazed on these kind of things. Uh, and I want to expose these kind of things to the Philippine society, and then I want to get some of the donors to continue uh, this church's uh, good journey for the people of the Philippines. We are uh, doing this one for the charity purpose. Of course, it is because that we want to do help some others around our, around our 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 community. Yeah. Thank you so much, Miracle Charlie. You know. Um, I am really so blessed because I'm also one of those receivers of your invention. And this is the reason why, aside from bloodletting, blood I'm getting younger. And I'll keep on using the hydrogen inhalation machine. Later on also, we're going to talk to some people who have tried also to use the system and how also it helped them, you know, therapy and everyday lives and how it, it's, you know, be able to remove the stress in their lives. Yes. Congratulations to you, uh, Dr. Chang Honam, as we call you here in the Philippines. And thank you so much to the Filipino Inventor Society for supporting Miracle Charlie in all his journey and in all his advocacy. So in, in, the, in, the short, in a short while, we will watch the orchestra and, of course, some of the singers that we invited to help you for this uh, fundraising show. So what's your message to everyone out there and to all the people around the world? Uh, yes, uh, simply, my message is to share the love of God Let's love one another. That is very simple. That's all. No more. Let's share our good heart together with our brothers and our sisters. I love you, the Filipinos. Thank you very much.
<laughs> and we love you too. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, our special guest for today, Miracle Charlie, or we call him Doc Chang Ho Nam.